Hello and Shkale guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2 and in today's video guys we are back again with more weapons to go over, still have some of these seasonal weapons to get through and we are going to be going over one of the old returning weapons, it is going to really like sound kind of Irish but it's going to be the Atortative, <laughs> this is the way, this is going to be the pulse trophy you can of course get from uh, the season of the wish of course season, you can get this from doing the coil if you go further into the coil and everything you have a random chance of getting it once you get it you can focus farm it and obviously it is craftable too because you can use your harm noise and stuff on it so this is going to be another craftable season of the wish weapon but the ahortative itself this is a really dope ass pulse rifle it is in the 390 rpm which i understand people might not really like too much but they can absolutely clap in both PvP, PvE and everything. It's got some really good roles as well for both PvE, PvP. And you will see all the roles on the screen right now in terms of what you can get. And remember, this is craftable. So everything can, of course, get better when you get to enhanced roles or whatnot. But it does have some bangers for both PvP, PvE. So you can see it'll have things like the uh, heal, heal clip, which you can get with head seek and everything, which is going to be dope PvP or golden tricorn. You've got disruption break, which is a really rare, rare sort of perk now because not many weapons are really getting it anymore. And then, of course, you got things like ricochet and, of course, high Kali rounds and everything. The role we are going to be going in with is because it's the underworld I have and I haven't found out for more. Is going to, of course, be my hortative with, of course, attrition orbs and head seeker. Now, attrition orbs kind of not that great, but the head seeker is going to be really nice for it in PvP and everything like that. Attrition will come in nice and clutch in PvE. So, without further ado, let's go to PvP with the hortative pulse rifle. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the spawn camp of A with, of course, our hortative and everything. And this should be pretty good PvP, as said. I don't exactly have probably the goddess of god rose. There's a guy down here as well. Ah, oh, buddy, I'm going to get peek from every angle. Why did he get that overshield? He was nowhere near on Bungie. But this, of course, in uh, PvP and everything, it should be pretty good. I will definitely say, though, um, roles wise, I definitely don't have the best role. I've got, of course, um, attrition orbs and the head seeker, where head seeker is going to be really nice, but in freaking attrition orbs, I'm probably never going to ever proc because it's to do with mag size, to do with freaking a lot of things and hitting a lot of crits and whatnot. So, realistically, I'm not probably going to hit it, but you can definitely see when you get your shots in, it will do a ton of freaking work for you. This thing absolutely can't crank out the damage. I will say, though, 390 as well. They're probably one of the pulse rifles where people will definitely say that they're not exactly even that heal. They're not exactly the meta. And the reason that is is because you can see that they take pretty much every single headshot to get a kill. Like when you triple burst with these, you basically have to hit the perfection sort of headshot. So you gotta hit all like three of your three bursts. <laughs> if that's the right way of saying it. Now, buddy, buddy, why is another guy here? Stupid ass guys all over here. Thank you for the heal. And oh my god, there's another guy here. I am so dead. That's a rocket. Oh my god, how did he not kill me? I was one HP. <laughs> get this guy now, though, and he actually just dived down. Yo, young man, get your ass over here, and I just got styled on. <laughs> this dodge actually worked out. And why is this 4v4? It's freaking clash. Oh, uh, get these guys, though, and of course, it's 4v4, but their whole team is here. And that's what I'm saying. Legit. 4v4, and we're still getting spawn camped at A. This is legit always this map. It's all that happens. We can definitely see that the damage you can kind of get going with this. It is really, really dope. And that's why I will say Headseeker as well. Will probably be the best sort of weapon to, or perk to kind of go for in this slot. Like, I mean, there is other ones like you can see. Um, you got things like uh, Golden Tricor and you got other perks as well. Like you have the Incandescent moving targets. But Headseeker for me is just way more bang for your book. Especially because this hits. I actually procced an orb there. But this hits so many freaking uh, body shots as well. Because just spamming shots so quickly. So it actually is really nice to kind of get the uh, head seeker kind of going. It gives you a little bit more. I'd say consistency is the best way of looking at it. You can see I hit a bunch of body shots there. But it was pretty consistent. All right, we have a tiger rich environment, boys. Tiger rich freaking environment. Come on, buddy. Peek it, peek it, peek it, boo. Peek it, you, peek it, dad. Oh, 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 oh my God. There's the double kill. <laughs> As I said, it actually is. It's a really nice bullet drive. But I definitely will say that when it comes to 390s. Not that they're bad, and I just got spammed by grenades. I don't know what's going on, but when it, like 390s when it comes to meta, people are gonna go for 340s more often because of high impact, and at 540s as well. For if it, the other pulse rifles definitely do become like the more known sort of weapons, and I will definitely say that is a bit of a shame that they didn't put kill clip on this weapon because heal clip kill clip would have been dope, and also 390s turn into beasts when they got kill clips so any sort of damage buff is going to be nice but being able to kind of two burst with a 390 makes them absolutely insane that's why kill clip is such a shame it's not on it but you can still see that it can do absolute work i i think this is still a really dope pulse rifle it's got a clean ass scope as well and guys we can spawn camp a we can spawn camp a boys you know what's good we're gonna actually get a super this wait i got a super what the oh now it worked <laughs> my keyboard just wasn't freaking working now buddy nice heal 
Shame I'm gonna have to freaking blast Rast. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for the people who all just joined because these guys legit will not have a super up in a while because they legit only joined, so. But of course, with the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Hortative. I think if you get a craft a roll of this, you might actually do a ton of work with it. I think it's actually a really dope one. This guy got a double melee kill. What? Oh, we get one. Oh, we get two. Okay, we'll freaking, we all you. We'll freaking general that crap up. We'll clean it all up. We, I do think if you get a crafted version of this, you will do so much work with it. I think that this is a really dope pulse rifle. And that, I know it's 390, but I do think people will definitely sleep on it now. Ah! ah! There goes the bubble. Oh my god, we got two. Oh my god, they're everywhere, boys. Heal up. Heal up, boys. Rift it up, rift it up. And that's a freaking matador. Do not let him kill you, buddy. Punch him. Punch him, Eric. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> if that's your name, Enik. You got the double melee as well. But I do think that if you um if you get a craft version of this, you will not regret it because it can it can slay out. I I am saying it is a bit of a shame that um there is no kill clip. I think kill clip would have went really nice on it. Oh my god, he has to go. And there is people everywhere. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's freaking people everywhere, boys. Someone help her brother out. They're legit swarming me. But yeah, when it comes to this sort of pulse rifle, if I had kill clip, it would be going in way more, but I still do think head seeker is just that good of a perk that you can just slay people so well with this thing. I mean, at Hortative. I mean, it has a really cool name and everything. And also, it can do work. Oh! I got double fisted. Machacho here, though. We're getting real quick. And oh, he has got absolutely spawned by two people. And that's a Rifty Boy. You know what? I can challenge the Rifty Boy. The only thing about Rifty Boys is that this will struggle to kill them. Because, like, the damage is nice and everything. But the RPM to headshots, if I'm not hitting all my crits, it definitely will struggle to kill them, Rifty Boys. And, yo, buddy. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna both agree to disagree that we cannot kill each other. We're, we just suck. And that guy's one HP. I can do this. I got destroyed. <laughs> My man actually pre-fired a freaking dom blade. Okay, there's a guy in here. He's just being. I just spawned like right beside someone. Please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. Please, please, please. Thank you. Oh my god, I lost that fight. That's one thing about 390s as well. Is that like they might be somewhat decent in PvP, but I definitely will say that you will struggle when it comes to up close quarters because. Yeah, they're not exactly built to be up in their face and everything. Is the golden gun gone? Oh my god, I think it is. Someone actually slayed him out. You can see I'm getting this nine munitions It's actually kind of going. And oh my god, there's freaking two dudes here. We'll get this guy though. Tom, your health. Oh my god, he healed. He freaking healed nades. Get out of the freaking corner with your heal nades. But you can kind of see that um, when, you, when you are hitting your shots and whatnot. I actually do really like it. I will definitely say though that... Uh, it's just gonna struggle in the current meta. That's the only thing. Even with a crafter roll, without the kill clip, it's just gonna struggle a little bit. But I do definitely think that if you kind of get used to a 390, you will not regret it because, as I said, look at that pre fire and the damage, and you get the shots in. I'm telling you, I know that is kind of spawn camp with them, but I still do think that uh, 390s can do absolute work. Oh my god, no! Freaking rose up my ass. Okay, boys, we can actually win this. It's freaking nine difference in the points. They have no supers, and I've got mine. So we're gonna actually do this. Oh, I, I hit the wrong thing. If I die here, I'm gonna. Okay, boys, we ain't gonna do this because I apparently suck. I thought that was a well. I did not realize it was a big ass Titan freaking wall. Oh my god. Sometimes, you know, I just suck at this game. That's legit the only way to describe it. Get this guy down his rose, and there's another guy with a sir. <laughs> oh, it's the spawn cap of A. It's still a thing. It's still a freaking thing. I finally spawned me somewhere else. But I will definitely say that this pulse rifle, I do think it's a really dope pulse you can kind of go in with, as I said. It is kind of a personal preference sort of pulse. More, most people will go for like the 450s or high impact frames and everything, but I do think a hortative. With the right roll, you can see even with like a body seeker, I didn't even have anything really great in the middle slot, like maybe even heel, cl heel clip or something. But even with just body seeker or head seeker, I think that this thing, it, it can go in. It can really go in. If you want to throw a disruption break as well, it can work. But I think it's an absolute banger. 41 opponents feed it, as I said. This pulse rifle, it can slay. I think people are sleeping on this right now because I have not seen a lot of people using it, especially crafted versions of this. But I do think if you like 390s, is probably one of the best ones to go in with. Alrighty, time for the PvE side of things, of course. Oh, with the little adhortives that could and everything. This should be where this weapon goes in a lot more, of course, as said. When it comes to actual weapons, I do think it's really dope PvP, but of course, PvE is where it's gonna hit, where you can see you can get Radiant kind of going always. You can see with the, uh, of course, all the mods like Solar, um, what's it called, the Precision one, where you can ignite targets off Precision kills. It's of course gonna just be way worth, way more worth it here, especially with the fact that it can roll incandescent. Now I have got not got an incandescent roll, it might not have head seeker still. 
I will have the Mantle of Battle Harmony on as well, just so I can get that extra little bit of damage and everything kind of going and get your super back and everything. That's what I'm saying. As far as like Solar, the season kind of goes, of course, Solar Warlock is going to do well, but it also works out really well with Radiant and everything I said. Getting Ignites kind of going is going to be really dope. Incandescent on top of that too. I know people will be like, you can do that with any solo weapon, but as I said, with this one having that incandescent and also having the heal clip and everything too, I just think that generally this is just going to be really dope for PvE, especially because it is craftable, meaning enhanced rolls and whatnot. So I think that there is a lot kind of going for this, especially as well that there is other PvE rare kind of perks kind of, you can kind of get going too. And give me that freaking radiance so we can get this ignite going. Give me, the, give me the ignition. Give me the ignition. Give me the ignition. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. The mini nukes. But yeah, you gotta see. I can get the. Um, I can, of course, get the ignites going and the rating going pretty consistently with a red with a sort of weapon. But as I said, when it comes to actual like PvE perks and everything, it will have to shoot to loot too. So if you want to kind of go for that, because as I said, you don't really need like some form of like, I'd say, uh, really feeding frenzy. There's no subsistence on or anything, but you don't really need the reload perks because you do have that nano munitions kind of. Uh, Iron Strike kind of going, which, as I said, means you barely ever have to reload. You can see I'm already kind of getting up to a really high stack anyway. But I basically never really have to reload. You can see I'm just spamming the shots out. I can just keep on going. Now, there will be a time where I eventually have to reload, but you can see it's not coming anytime soon. <laughs> like, I can basically just keep on firing. And that's what's so great about the 90 munitions. I eventually have to reload, but look how many shots I shot off there. So, yeah, that is what I really like about this weapon in terms of PvE and everything. The fact that you just basically never have to reload. And the fact that you can just keep on um, spamming the Radiant, the Ignites and everything, I just think it's a really sick weapon PvE. Of course, the people will be saying that there's SMGs and everything to kind of go in with other sort of weapons. I understand, like Sunshot, Zalos, Bane, all that do work. But I still do think if you like a Pulse Rifle, this is a really solid one to kind of use. Alrighty, final boss time, of course, with our little Horse of the code and everything. This is where you might see a little bit of extra kind of beauty of the weapon in terms of being able to shoot. As I said, I barely I never have to reload with my teammates in tow. Just keep on spamming the shots out like this with, of course, the well. And you get your damage kind of going in. Set. It is really, really sweet for that. And, of course, obviously, when I'm radiant and everything, I'll do an extra bit of damage now. Do not want to be up in your face like this, bow. And as I said, with the attrition orbs, too, that actually kind of goes in really close. Because you can see, I'm going to spam out with them the non munitions kind of going. And then I can get my freaking, what's it called, my attrition orbs going. So I do have a ton of reasons to definitely have different rolls of this set. It can actually do really, really well in the freaking, like, builds. I just think generally it's it's more of a PvE weapon now. Oh my god, I'm getting juked by freaking if I die here. Oh my god, we got the juker. Absolute freaking king of a juker. But of course, um, it is gonna be up to what kind of weapon you want to run in a freaking PvE event. I just think pulse travels they can definitely be kind of safer weapons. Like you can definitely go in with of course SMGs and everything, but SMGs for me, especially when you get to higher end content. They kind of struggle a little bit because you start coming up against things that can one tap you pretty much and you don't want to be right up in the jimmy jams especially like science why not you don't want to be up beside them that's like the thing that makes these kind of great is that you can sit back with this sort of pulse rifle and just pepper things off like you see you can get the ignitions going you have radiant but you gotta also get incandescent if you want to and you just never have to really read out so i just think that for that reason alone it might be worth picking up some rolls of it as i said there is other solar sort of pulse rifles people might use already so I understand if that's the case, you're like, oh, I don't want to use that. But the one thing that's great about this is that it is going to, of course, be craftable. So got that going for it. And as I said, that nano munitions trait, I honestly think it's one of the best iron traits for PvE in the game. As I know there's other perks of our other iron traits people might choose. But I just think the fact that I basically just never have to reload, especially in like you see these sorts of phases. But I just want to get my attrition orbs kind of going. It is just really kind of sweet for that. As I said, I just think that there's a lot going for this in PvE that... You might just not really think of just because, oh, it looks like a 390 pulse, and oh, I gotta show my other pulse that can kind of go in. Like you can see, it's a solid ass pulse for dealing with odds. It can do the damage when it gets to the freaking mantle of battle harmony as well. I just think overall, this has so much going for it, and I do think people are somewhat sleeping on it. As I said, I haven't already seen anybody talking about this pulse rifle at all. Maybe because it's like just other weapons you kind of go in with, and my team is actually finished off. Maybe it's probably because it's other weapons that you can kind of go in with, but I still do think that this horse of. I think it's a really dope boss pulse rifle that people should definitely be looking at, especially if you like 390s. I mean, it's one of the best you can kind of go in with. Well, that is it for me and the Adhortative pulse rifle itself. As I said, the Adhortative is a really dope boss pulse rifle. I don't know why not much more people are kind of looking at this. I know it looks kind of bad as well because it's in looks kind of 
just rugged it like looks like it was just thrown in the dirt and just left there for a while but it does have a nice frame and it also has a nice rpm and everything to it this pulse rifle this has been like it kind of looks like obviously the uh, no time to explain obviously different archetypes but well, I do think the Hordes of Now is a 390. I think this thing can absolutely clap. As I said, good head seeker all PvP can do work. Of course, you can go for um, gold tricor and everything you want to get the damage. It is a super big shame that this doesn't have kill clip because I think with kill clip, this could have been one of the best. Heal clip, kill clip would have been a bang and roll on this, even if it is a 390. Shame we didn't get it. But then when it comes to PvE, that is where you start seeing the absolute juice of this weapon. Of course, you see the incandescent go in. You got things like, of course, disruption break as well. If you want to make everything weak to kinetic damage you still have the golden tricorn going for it as well so if you want to get those sorts of builds going melee builds or whatnot you got attrition orbs you also have this shoot to loot which can be great pve and also as i said it will have this non ammunition trait which for me as i said is probably one of the best origin traits for pve pvp can come in clutch as well but as i said if you're going through a full mag pvp realistically you should have the kill already or you're probably dead but when it comes to pve if you're spamming out a bunch of odds and everything you don't want to really reload this comes in really, really clutch. It's like a mini ass subsistence kind of. You get, have a pretty much max uptime of it. It's really easy to proc and legit just hang around, hang around with your teammates. You basically get a ton more bonus. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, I will 100% say nano munitions. Absolute banger art and train. The horde of itself. I do think people need to look at this a little bit more. I think people are sleeping on this because I do think this is one of the best pulse rifles in the game right now in terms of PvE, especially. But PvP, it can definitely go in. It's just that it's in a struggling archetype. I just think though that it's craftable. So, of course, got enhanced traits. I don't think this can go wrong. And especially if 390s ever do get a bump in terms of damage or whatnot, my good God, will this thing go in? This thing will be an absolute beast. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. I'd really see more content. Subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.